Hi there, uh, I'm Ms. Marshall Greeson or Ms. MG and I'm the visual arts department chair. So up in the left hand, well, yeah, it is left hand corner. Um, there's a little QR code that attaches itself to a PowerPoint presentation that gives you a lot more information and more importantly, visuals uh, for each different course. Um, I think sometimes like seeing is believing. So uh, if you're interested in the visual arts courses, please check out the PowerPoint and you'll see examples of some of the projects that you'll be doing um, in each of the classes because I can talk about it. But if you see it, that you know usually turns into a believer moment. Um, so usually our entry level courses for the visual arts are Art One and Photo One. Uh, they also serve as uh, sequentials, so that will fulfill that requirement for your um, advanced diploma. Um, Art One is an entry level. Uh, students, we basically baseline everybody's skills. We work on shading, drawing skills, uh, basic painting skills, uh, ceramic skills, which is clay, um, mixed media, uh, watercolor, um, a lot of skill development and just getting everybody ready. Uh, photo is uh, digital photography. It is not darkroom photography. Uh, you do not need to have a camera. Our department is well prepared with many cameras. Um, students work on MacBooks uh, and they use um, Adobe Photoshop. Um, membership to that is included with um, the class. So then from there, your options in photo one, you can go up to photo two, or sorry, <laughs> in art one, you obviously would go to art two. Um, in art two, we expand on what we're learning in um, a lot more expressive based projects. Now that you have the skills, you have more choices in both your subject matter and your media. Um, you also have the option to shoot over into computer art, which is using um, digital in collaboration with your traditional art, whether you're a photographer or you're an artist. Um, art two also hits on figure drawing, portrait drawing, um, a lot of stuff. Check out the PowerPoint. And then from there with art two, it splits. You can either take art three or pre-AP portfolio or portfolio review. Um, this, the art three is for students that really like art, but they're just, they're not really thinking about studying it in college. Um, they just want to, you know, it's a more of a fun, less rigor. Um, and we cover, um, again, just continuing on with different ceramic skills, uh, different printmaking skills, uh, drawing, and then pre-AP portfolio, you are creating a, um, you're basically getting ready for that portfolio for um, your college review. Um, many visual arts departments in college require you to go to um, submit a digital portfolio. And so we're getting you ready. We're doing a lot of still lives. We're doing figure drawing. Um, we're working with charcoal. Uh, we're incorporating digital. We're doing some collaging. Um, we're just, again, building on those skills you've learned in art too. Um, and then as a senior, or um, if you know, you've know you proved yourself to be a very advanced student, um, your next level is AP 2D or drawing um, or art four. Um, AP 2D and drawing, basically it's, it is an AP level class. Um, you're creating a series of work uh, independently to choosing your media, choosing your uh, subject matter, um, a cohesive series. Um, it's a great class. It's a lot. It's very rigorous. Um, a lot. You are working on your artwork at home. Um, but for students that really want to develop their style, um, are really interested in pursuing their own um, art series, I highly recommend it. Um, art four, again, less rigor. Still, you're creating a series, but the amount of artwork and the rigor is less. Now, shooting over to the right side, after photo one, you can take photo two, um, which is again, where you're developing the skills you've learned in photo one, your portraiture, all the different things that you're learning in there, um, creating more personal based series. And then that also filters up to AP photo, um, where again, you're creating a series of work um, of your own, um, albeit just photography or combining your photography with digital, um, that's your last choice. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, I do portfolio reviews. So if you're at all interested, if you are um, 
you have a high skill level um, and you're you're a sophomore and you'd really like to catch up and enter um, pre AP portfolio next year, you're welcome to send me an email and I can review your portfolio to determine if you'll be successful at that level. Thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate you going over the art. We have They've already been doing beautiful artwork um, in the hallways. Um, they've been posting everywhere. So it's really exciting to see their work they're doing. So thank you so much, Ms. MG. If you don't mind just hanging out for like another couple of minutes, just to see if anything pops up in the chat.